Okay, so this is the Fort Duino. Uh, it has a PH and an ORP uh, circuit on it. So you can see we have the two BNC connectors. That means you can just uh, screw on both the PH and the ORP uh, probes just right onto it. You'll notice that they're a li little bit uh, wobbly. That's just because I have not put the uh, screws in the bottom yet. I have to find a size that fits. So it's pretty easy. Um, basically it has the double high headers so you can just stack it on top of an existing shield. Uh, you cannot stack anything on top of this. You'll see that here are the female headers and here are the uh, BNC uh, connectors and they're a lot higher and we also have the two capacitors which will probably need to get moved in another revision but what happens is you just hook it up and there's only one variable resistor um, the program actually a version 0 0.4 uh, pretty much auto configurates auto configures it for you uh, provided that you have an EEPROM hooked up, it will keep those settings even after a power failure. Uh, we've got a lot of capacitors and stuff, but basically it's just uh, two op amps with a little uh, virtual ground circuit there. And then these just control the gain of the op amps. Um, it's pretty accurate. It flutters uh, about between two and four um, so the percentage drift is very very small and with the uh, smoothing in the code it's the the accuracy is well beyond what you need um, like it's point zero something or other uh, so yeah that's the FORP PH and ORP uh, basically either one of them can be used but this one will be pH and then this one will, will be ORP and uh, I haven't done the ORP in the code yet but it is coming um, lots of stuff to do first though I hope you enjoyed the video